talk about Buccaneers pride. There's a movement underway to rename the city of Treasure Island, Florida, to Tampa Brady, Florida, for 24 hours at least, as the legendary quarterback gears up to play in his 10th Super Bowl. Just amazing. Potentially winning his seventh championship ring. Here with me now in Tampa is the mayor of Treasure Island. It's Larry Lund. Mayor, thanks for being here. First of all, so um, it's a proposal, right? It's not yet official that you would rename Treasure Island Tampa Brady yes, Island. Yes, I'm the mayor of, the tra of Treasure Island. We have a five-member commission, of which I'm one. I would have to uh, gain the approval from a majority of the commissioners in order to do so. But I'm certainly excited about the opportunity. Treasure Island is a real jewel. We have uh, tremendous businesses. We have uh, a lot of Midwestern values in Treasure Island. Uh, I'm proud to be the mayor of that community. I've been so for three years and uh, excited about the future. Why do you want to rename Treasure Island for Tom Brady? Well, I think that it's been wonderful that Tom Brady has elected to come to Tampa Bay area. And uh, I, I certainly want to encourage a future uh, drive of people to our community and our area. And uh, I think Tom is going to pull it off today. And it will be wonderful for the city and for the surrounding area. Now, I want to read something you said, Mayor, because I think this is perfect. You said Tom Brady is the perfect resident of Florida, the perfect resident of this area. He retired here from a northeastern climate. He has the values you appreciate down here. Obviously, anybody who's ever watched Tom Brady knows about his work ethic, his discipline, his dedication to his craft. All that, you say, perfect for this area. You bet your life. Uh, <clears throat> smart man. Uh, I uh, lived in Indiana most of my life and uh, vacationed down here on occasion and came to the realization this is where I want to be. And I think Tom went through the same process. And... Uh, his last few years in, in playing the sport, I think, will be extremely rewarding to uh, this area. You said, uh, like every older person who moves somewhere, Tom has imposed his culture and beliefs on everyone else around him, and that's to Tampa Bay's benefit. I love that. You and I were just talking a little bit earlier. Now, I asked you, is this for 24 hours only, or is this permanent? Well, that will be up to the commission to make that determination. Uh, I would like to uh, rename at least a thoroughfare in Treasure Island permanently. But again, that will be something that will be determined by the commission itself. Because this isn't the first time. I know in the previous administration, Treasure Island was renamed for a cornerback who came down from the New York Jets, also right. another Northeasterner, right. who came down to Tampa Bay, played for the Bucks. It was renamed Revis Island there for right. a, short spirit, a short period of time. Sure. Uh, there's no way that we could permanently rename because Treasure Island, in my opinion, is a best kept secret. Uh, there are a lot of people that look online and see Treasure Island in Vegas, Treasure Island in uh, uh, San Francisco, but they miss the fact that Treasure Island, Florida is a best kept secret. Now, just to be clear, do Tom and the Bucks have to win today to get this approval? Are they gonna need to win to get this renaming or is it already in the bank? I feel like that it is very important that he win today, <laughs> and I certainly would condition my request for the commission based on his win. But uh, I think he's, uh, he's done a tremendous amount of good for this area, and uh, I wouldn't want to right. penalize him if he didn't win. All right, Mary, Larry, Mayor Larry Lund of Treasure Island, Florida. You heard it there, Tom. Listen. Love the culture, love the values, love the retirement down here to Florida. But you got to win to get this done. You got to win to get the renaming. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much.